Hey everybody, um, this is Jack again, RoadsterCycle.com. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to switch out the board on your Tesla large large motor, as far as that goes, either the Sport or the regular standard motor, um, with a Damien McGuire card to be able to uh, control the motor rather easily without spending a, a ton of money uh, to get a whole control board from some other companies that are selling them and you know it's a cheaper way to go because there's you know the other companies are about 3500 bucks where this one's about 450 dollars for the board from Demi McGuire and uh, he does open inverter.org is what his uh, deal is and he did all this stuff uh, and let it be open source so you can you know, order from him, you can order a board and put your own, uh, what do you call it, list of materials, you know, into it that he gives you or have them made or whatever. But still, um, it works really great on my Mustang. You can see my Mustang right there. So it works really great on that. So I thought I'd show you today how to do it and how simple it is uh, to do. Um, I already have the cover, round cover off the uh, inverter side. Which is quite simple so we'll start from there and I'll show you where the what the board is and where the board is at and how easy it is to change out all right thanks for watching here we go okay here's our board right here that we're gonna change out um, it has one two three four five six uh, connectors I'm gonna get a small screwdriver real quickly here to help me There's really nothing magic about this. Um, this plug is not plugged in because this was the plug that went through and into the motor or into the other side since I have the case split open. That went into the other side um, for the temperature sensors inside the, uh, the motor itself. And I found it easier to be able to wiggle it out. It wasn't real easy to wiggle out, but the last time I did it, I could only split the motor open a little bit to change my gears and stuff inside there, like uh, coffee or whatever, or quaff, or I don't know what, what you call it, really. So I figured um, this time when I split it, since I'm doing a really trick deal, um, I'm going to pull that wire out. And it wasn't bad. I did have to take, because I couldn't figure out how to... Get the connector loose a little small connector so i did cut the four wires in different lengths of cut so that i could just solder and heat shrink and put them back in so it's no, really no big deal but just getting it out i i lubed the i lubed the white uh wire and had to cut a tie wrap off and it slid out through the hole so anyway that's what i'll do but in the end i'll show you that okay so you pop off all your connectors like so That one. That one. That one. And they all stay right where they're at. And the new board is like identical as far as everything plugging in. Okay. And those are all unplugged. I already broke these screws loose, so they're going to come out pretty easy. There's one. I do live by an airport, so you may hear planes flying in and out. There's two. take that one all the way out because it was kind of coming out with the board so I want to be careful you always want to be careful for sure doing this stuff I mean you know the board the do boards you know over four hundred dollars so
there is a standoff plate behind it right here but it looks as though the screw might be stripped so I'm gonna have to do a little I'm gonna push on it with my finger to see if I can get it to come out and it did I think somebody stripped it at the factory when they did it okay so that's out so this board or this piece goes right in here these are all um, we call it MOSFETs in here behind the board okay so that board's out all right so here's my new board right here it comes in a nice package so we'll take it out and I will put the other board in it I have two of these boards now so if anybody needs a standard board I have a couple okay so that board goes on like that I'm thinking these don't screw into this board they actually just go right through the board yeah they do they just go right through the board okay so that one sticking just meant that it wasn't uh, broken loose okay so we're gonna very carefully now go like this and get a couple started here I'm just going to just do a couple threads too so I can make sure that I get everything nice and flat and in there. Headlight on. Okay, put my headlight on here so I can make sure of what's going on here. I'm just tightening them down nice and easy just to just to make sure everything goes back where it's supposed to be.
Ah. And this, this happened to me before. So I'm going to take this off and show you what had happened to me before. Because that top bolt, it didn't, it didn't screw down uh, all the way in. As nice as, you know, like the other ones went right in and touched down. So I see, I see what the problem is in here and I'm going to show you. So we make sure that we get that corrected or you guys get that corrected if you change one of these boards out. And what happened last time is the same thing that was happening this time. And I'm going to set this right over here. Okay, this plate, okay, last time I did this also, it caught up on top right here. See right here? So, you want to make sure this plate is in under there first. and I, and. I should have noticed that uh, as I was doing this, but I didn't. So that's on me. Okay. So it's kind of kind of a PIA to do it. fell again. So what I'll try to do this time, same thing I did last time, I'll try to put a couple of screws in here and then slide it under where it's supposed to go before I start screwing it down. So this time it's underneath where it's supposed to be. Like I said, last time I did this and the same thing happened. And as I was tightening it down, it went click. And what it was is that piece slipped by there and made a noise and I thought I broke the board. So I was like, oh no. But it was just hung up a little bit. See, yeah, the plate's underneath now. Now it's all flat. This should tighten up just nicely now. Yep, tightened up perfect. And as far as the torque, just, you know, there's no torque spec on this, so just make sure they're tight. You know, I doubt vibration will take them out because it does have a uh, white type of Loctite on the screws when I took them out. And they did feel like they were going in with Loctite or you know, um, 
There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And there's five. And one more down here. There's actually going to be another one next to this one. <clears throat> but it's the one that I told you about that I... Uh, This one right here, this one goes, and I'll show you in one second as soon as I get up. So this is all on, that's, that's it, as far as that goes. So this one goes to the wire that goes between the case, and I'll show you that over here. So this wire, I just have it looped all through here for right now, but that's the one that came across and went to th that case that I was, I'm sorry, there we go. This is the wire that comes out, and it's only about this long, so when you split the case open, it's really a pain. But if you take, and like I said, I took and cut it different lengths, so you see every one of these wires is a different length, which means that I can easily figure out which ones go back on my plug, and what I'll, I'll strip them and solder them and heat shrink them really nice, and then I'll take and slip them back, or I'll slip them back through first um, into you know the other motor side when I go to put it together. And then I'll just solder the wires back on and hook it up. So much easier than trying to work on this thing with it just split open a little bit. That's a PIA. You know, you want to line this up, up straight and push it together. And with this being this short, it, it, it just, it's just really a, you know, a bad deal. But anyway, that's the inside of a Tesla motor if you haven't seen one yet, which I'm sure you have. There's a bunch of videos out there. So... That's the inside. And this is the whole thing. These are all MOSFETs. Big MOSFETs. All the way around. Pretty cool. What a cool deal. Elon and the boys did a great job. What fun. So, okay, our board is on. Oh, and also this. This is a Wi-Fi. So, after the can is on, um, if you look at some of my other videos, like my uh, ending video, I can actually, from here, Wi-Fi into my car, my Android uh, stereo unit, and actually change settings on the inverter that runs the motor from right inside the car with uh, Wi-Fi. So it works really good. Really happy about it. Okay, so anyway. So, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys taking a look. Um, Putting that board in is pretty simple, easy, and then you got really simple wiring, uh, you know, to your um, gas pedal and your ignition switch to turn on the inverter, and the, you know, forward reverse and cruise control and stuff. So it ends up being a really great little, little board for the money. I mean, it, it, it's awesome. So okay, but thank you again for watching. I really appreciate you uh, checking me out and learning a little bit here, and hopefully I can teach you a little bit more as we go along.